As you know, Macs are a bit different than iPhones and iPads, and you do things differently there. It is the case for deleting messages too. You open up the app and you go to any conversation that you want to edit. You can click the text message bubble and you can see that it's selected because it turns a different color. Now you can hit the backspace button on your keyboard and it will be deleted. Or you can right click on the messages bubble and it will give you the option to delete it this way. Also gives you other options so just click the right one. There are multiple ways how you can select messages that you want to edit or delete. You can hold down on the command key and click all of those messages that you want. It's gonna make it simple because you can click around as you want and select messages in any order. Or if there are multiple text bubbles in a row, meaning right after each other, you can as well just select one, then hold shift and select the other, and this will select all the messages in between two. It's the same thing like when you're working with files in Finer. And then the very same process. You can either hit the backspace key or right click and then delete. But the other key you could press instead of the backspace key would be the subscribe key. Foxtech is a channel that has hundreds of tutorials about Apple devices. And more are about to come later, so definitely subscribe. Okay, now back to the topic. And if you want to delete the entire conversation and not only text messages, on the left side where you have all of the conversations listed, just swipe left on it and it's gonna give you the option to delete. It's the big red button with the trash can on it. And I know what you're wondering about right now. What does the deleting do? Does the other person still see the messages? And the answer is, sadly, yes. They can still see it. So you're only deleting the message for yourself. I mean, don't get mad at me if this isn't what you wanted. I'm just showing you what's possible. And this is simply not. Once the message is delivered to their phone, it'll stay there for good. Also, we're talking about iMessage now. If you ever wanted to delete the green text messages bubble, you can, again, just delete them for yourself only. With the regular text, it wouldn't be possible to remove it from someone else's phone at all. But yeah, for deleting the green text, the same ways apply. You should also know that if you delete a message on your conversation on a Mac, it doesn't even disappear from the same conversation on your iPhone. You're literally just deleting stuff for yourself and on one specific device only. But you may have one less option here, one less ace in your sleeve, and that would be the latest software release. Because in iOS 16, iPadOS 16, and macOS Ventura, there is this new feature called Undo Send Messages, or Unsend Messages. So you may actually think that there is hope. And there is, but it ain't much. Although, yes, you can unsend messages you sent previously, but only within a two minutes window. So if it's past that, you're out of luck. And you won't be able to do it. And even if you manage to unsend it within those two minutes, the other person still gets to see what's going on. They get the information that you unsend the message. But we are still assuming that the other person has the latest iOS, iPadOS, or macOS running. Because let's say that they have iOS 15, you can unset it theoretically, but it doesn't affect the other person. They literally don't see your unsent <laughs> notification or anything like that. They literally see whatever you send and you think that you unsent it. But, I mean, yeah, all these measures are there for a reason, and uh, the reason is preventing people from abusing it. So it makes sense for sure, but if you wanted to unsend some text from the past, you wouldn't be able to do it now. Okay, so if you want to turn off messages on your Mac completely, then watch this video right here, because it's going to show you exactly how to do it.